Good afternoon, everyone. Joe for jazbeeshobbyland.com. Happy New Year as well. We are starting today off with 2017 Panini Donruss Optic Football. 12 box. Pick your team. Number nine. Number nine. Number nine. Number nine. Number nine. There you go. Here are the people involved. Big thanks to Sam Golden with the Jaguars. Last spot mojo. And thanks to everybody else who got into this break as well. Really appreciate it. Contenders has been pretty, uh, or Optic, that is. We do have contenders on the site, too. Optic has been pretty fun. We posted another case of Optic on the site, so it's there right now, jazpiecehobbyland.com, so be sure to check that out. And remember, in Optic football, if you buy at least two teams, you'll have a chance to win a... Uh, a transcendent baseball spot. We've been trying to fill that out. We want to try to do one of those this week. All right, so there are all 12 boxes. This break will take about an hour, so relax. Get settled in, and let's make this happen. All right, so talk to me, folks. What's the, uh, is there, what's the big football news of the day? Is there any? Any more coaches getting fired or hired? John Gruden for my for my Raiders. I mean, he pretty much straight up said that he is a uh, there's a good chance that he's going to be coach. I think people are saying that he, he is already talking to other coordinators and and trying to hire his staff already, kind of getting trying to get all that together. So, it's pretty crazy. It happened really fast. I didn't think that would happen. Jaden has a question for me. Go for it, Jaden. That's a good question. I like that. Football related for a football break. If you could take any open coaching job, what would I take? Well, you'd have to say if it wasn't the Raiders, because it would obviously be the Raiders. Can you imagine that? You're in Vegas. Las Vegas Raiders. I think that would be a very exciting challenge. They've got, they've got all the pieces there. It just needs to all come together. But if it wasn't, so let's say it wasn't my team. If it wasn't the Raiders, um, what coaching job would I take? I actually have to remind myself which coaches were uh, which coaches were fired. <laughs> so what are what are the available jobs right now? I'm looking at I can't take the Bengals job. Um, Marvin Lewis, they're just gonna be they're just gonna continue. I don't know. Give me give me the uh, Give me the the coaches. I don't know. I don't. I don't see it on NFL.com immediately. So what are my what are my options? Lions are an option, right? Raiders obviously an option. I forget who else fired their coaches. I'm blanking on that. Oh yeah, the Cardinals coach retired. Okay. All right. Let's go through this first. Kelvin Benjamin, 53 out of 149. So I'll sleeve and top load. We'll top load all those before they get shipped out. Oh, yeah, the Giants. Oh, right, Giants. Lions. Wait, did the Broncos fire their head coach? I don't think I realized that. Aaron Jones. These are our first autograph. A couple hot boxes in here, too, that people can expect as well. Uh, Dubberly with the Packers. That's 13 out of 79. There's Malik Hooker. Yeah, I don't think the Broncos did, right? Colts did, yeah. Colts, oh, Bears have an opening, too. I mean... Out of 299, Jordan Leggett for the Jets. That'll be for Karen. 
I guess my thing would be if I'm if I want to be a head if I mean in this fantasy world of which I'm going to take any head coaching job that I want to. There's Trent Taylor out of 149 for the Niners. Um, I would want to go to a team that's pretty complete, right? Or as complete as possible. What do you need? You need a uh, good quarterback. I think you got to start with that. Maybe a decent wide receiver, decent running back, decent defense. You kind of want to have some of those pieces together. I don't not necessarily would want to do a complete rebuild. I think Bears would be an interesting choice. Jarrell Freeman out of 199. They've got some dynamic players there. They've got a quarterback that looks like he could be the quarterback of the future. There's Joe Flacco out of 149 for the Ravens. And there's Tyrod Taylor for the Bills. 22 out of 25. Nice. These lower number ones I'll sleeve and top load right away. Bills, that goes to Tim H. So if I couldn't coach the Raiders... Well, the Bears, I think, would actually not be would be a pretty, pretty interesting team. They've got what looks like who, someone who could be the quarterback of the future. They've got they've got Jordan Howard. They've got a, they've got a running game. You know, you got you got someone dynamic like Tariq Cohen on that team. They have a Bears actually have a pretty decent defense. Decent defense for the Bears, right? And all I need, all I if, if like the worst, if like the hardest thing that I have to do is find a wide receiver and then kind of put everything, you know, kind of put every try to put everything together. I think they're I think the Bears are a little bit clo a lot closer than people may think. You know, see the Cardinals. I don't know if I'd want the. I, I know you have a. I know you have David Johnson there. That's all. That's always a good thing to build around for the Cardinals. But I don't know if I'd be able to. Uh, I don't know if I'd want to go to the Cardinals. You got to find a new quarterback. That's a hassle. You know, Larry Fitzgerald might retire in a year, another year or two. That's a hassle. I don't know if I want to do that. <laughs> Rick says I'd hate the weather in Chicago. This is true, but if I was getting paid head coach money. I think I could find a. I think I could afford a lot of, a lot of jackets, and a lot of car services, where I can run from the from my uh, house to the car. i will take me right up to the front gate of Soldier Field, and I'll just run in through like a tunnel or something like that. I'm sure there's underground parking. Soldier Field is beautiful too. I've been there. It's nice. I get. It it would give me an excuse with with my uh, with my with my uh, Chicago Bears coach contract, Rick Hunt. I could get like some some of those nice big uh, Bears parkas. Those are pretty cool. Next box. I would also sponsor a bear every year, like a grizzly bear, for some sort of conservation purpose. 89 out of 99. R. Joshua Dobbs, Illusions. That's for the Steelers. That'll be for Michael Gallucci with his Steelers. Elijah Hood for my Raiders. Goes to, who's got my Raiders in this one? Daniel Patero with little Raider Joe Mojo. Paul T would pick the Lions. I'm not sure. Do, uh, I guess the Lions could be an interesting team to take over. On a 299, there's Derek Carr. And Chad Williams. For the Cardinals, that'll go to James S. For the Cardinals. 7 out of 10. Nice. 
Looks like a hot box right here. Will I do a recap at the end? Are you trying to get out of watching the video, Ehrlich? I think you are. 133 out of 149. Maybe. Matt Forte out of 199 for the Jets. Uh, return of the Mac. And we got some tacos here. 10 out of 25. Bruyo is asking, quick question about Optic. How do you know which cards are on card versus sticker autos? Um, basically, oh, all the rated rookie autos are on card. Everything else is sticker. All right, so points, we'll collect all of the points together as one. And we'll randomize all the points, winner take all on the points. So that's a th uh, two auto plus points hot box. I think there's, a, there's usually another hot box that has like four autos in there, something like that. And if there's a third hot box, a third autograph hot box, that usually replaces um, that usually replaces the case hit. And the case hit is, is a relic auto of someone. Could be a rookie, could be a vet, could be a Hall of Famer. I don't know, but if there's a third hot box, it usually, it usually replaces that hit. So take a look at the chat right there. Paul Harris trying to get some Panini Ascension basketball moving tonight. That could be a fun one to do. We haven't done that in a long time. Uh, I have not seen any uh, lions or fins as of yet. But we are only like, what, this is only like our third box in. So still very early in the break. So looking, just kind of scrolling through some news here on NFL.com. Packers is uh, Mike McCarthy shaking up the offensive coaching staff. So looks like they're making a lot of moves there. Adam Gay saying that Tannehill will be the starting quarterback in 2018. Uh, what, what do you think? What could the Dolphins' season have been if they if they had Ryan Tannehill the entire season? I think that's an interesting question. So if we look at we look at the AFC East, the Dolphins were six and ten. What could have Ryan Tan what what could Ryan Tannehill have given them? Eight and eight, nine and seven, maybe maybe they have that Buffalo Bills playoff spot. There's Philip Rivers just missing the playoffs. Out of 149, that's the Chargers that goes to Josh Miller. Our Joshua Dobbs for Gallucci, that's out of 149. And Return of the Mac, there it is, rated rookie autograph on card for the Fly Eagles Fly. That goes to Derek P. Jaden says three more games, so nine and seven. 50 out of 99. Paul T. Dicey, Stafford catch a pass for two points. I did not actually. I saw Baker Mayfield catch a touchdown, though. There's Jay Ajaye for the Dolphins, 24 out of 99 for Jaden. Morton Anderson, sometimes these are numbered. I wonder if any of those are autographed. Dawson's asking, do I think the Patriots messed up by trading Jimmy Garoppolo over Brady? Well, they're never going to trade Tom Brady. Out of 299. Well, what was Garoppolo's contract situation? I think that has a lot to do with it. Was he an unrestricted free agent after this season? 
I think they kind of had to, had to. They could have. They should have gotten more though. Sixty-eight out of two ninety-nine. Raekwon McMillan for the. I feel like they should have tried to get more though, but maybe I don't know. Maybe they were kind of stuck. But I think they'll. Uh, I mean, sports. Everything runs in cycles. Sports runs in cycles. Out of one forty nine, there's Zeke. There's going to be a cycle where you know, Belichick gets old. He loses his step in coaching. You know, Tom Brady retires. You know, Gronk retires. You know, they're Christian McCaffrey rated rookie card sixty seven out of one ninety nine. Panthers. Sam Golden with the Panthers. And there'll be the rise of another team. It's all in cycles, so. You know, the Warriors aren't going to win championships forever, you know. The Patriots aren't going to be perennial 13-game winners every season. Yeah, but w one thing that's good, though, Dawson, and Bruyo mentioned this, too, is that, uh, is that it's good for the hobby. Jimmy Garoppolo Niners cards next year? People will love those. And it really seems like the Niners are actually a lot closer than uh, a lot of people may think. You know, they've got their front office and head coaching uh, situation in order. They got their quarterback. You know, they, they, they quietly have a, have a pretty decent squad, a nice draft or two. And a nice couple of years of free agency. Makes more experience under everyone's belt. Next thing you know, next thing you know, you know, it might be Rams and Niners battling for battling for the NFC West for years to come. Unless the Seahawks. I'm sure the Seahawks will bounce back there. That could be a great three headed monster in that division. You know, Seahawks. Rams and Niners battling against each other for years to come. All right. Next up. There's Andy Dalton, 158 out of 199. Did he save Marvin Lewis's job? Any guesses on that redemption for bragging rights? Josh McCowan, 3 out of 10. You know, the Jets actually had a pretty decent season. Jets might not be too far away either. Todd Bowles hasn't playing really well. Dee Dee Westbrook. 67 out of 199. And there's Zay Jones, Andre Reed, 44 out of 199. Well, uh, Jaden asking, what's the saddest NFL story of the season? I think it's always when anyone just, any promising player, or I guess any player, but any promising player, whenever they get injured. You know, like Dalvin Cook. There, there he is, Dalvin Cook going down. No one wants to see that. You know, Deshaun Watson. You know, getting, you know, balling out, getting injured. No one wants to see that. You know, even Car Carson Wentz late in the season, you know, he's on his way to an MVP season, maybe seeing what the what the Eagles can do in a Super Bowl. You know, he's out. No one wants to see that. All, the, all those season-ending injury stories, you know, that's why we're always like poor Dalvin Cook and all that. Like, we, we don't like to see that. Hey, well, speaking of, there he is. Rated rookie's autograph. That should be on card. Deshaun Watson for the Texans. Joe Hauer. I pull scrubs. Not pulling a scrub there. Where's, I need a pen. Wow, nice hit. There we go. 
David Johnson. How could I, Ed? How could I forget about David Johnson? I was so early in the season, he almost forgot. Well, you didn't forget. Arizonans didn't forget. Texans, nice. Is Joe? I don't know if Joe's even in here right now. He usually checks in around this time. But there you go. Congrats, Joe, wherever you may be, however you're watching this, live or on replay. Poor Deshaun Watson. And I think David Johnson getting injured that early in the season probably just derailed that whole Cardinal season, too. You know, and then they just had to quickly figure out, oh, shoot, how do we... How do we play without David Johnson? You know, with the offense running through David Johnson, how, how do we play without him? And I think it took him a little while before they really got it together and they, they were just kind of kind of figuring that out, trying to figure that out all season. Which is kind of a shame because then, you know, Bruce Arians retires, Carson Palmer retires. You know, I don't know how long Larry Fitzgerald is going to play, but he, he may not have too many years in him. So it's sort of a shame. Jaden asking, what about most impressive veteran? Yeah, I mean, Larry Fitzgerald's consummate pro, right? Guy says and does the right things. I mean, you know, I don't want to get ahead of ourselves, but I think Larry Fitzgerald, if he wanted to, I think he could have a really great career in um, uh, as a broadcaster, maybe in the booth, maybe take John Gruden's job at some point, the Monday Night Football job, I don't know, something. Analyst on NFL Network or ESPN analyst or broadcaster. I think he's got that kind of vibe. I think he could do that. Yeah, the Cardinals did finish 8-8, eight and eight, huh? With, with all that. It's kind of surprising. You kind of blink and you go, oh, they finished 500. Maybe they're maybe the Cardinals are a lot closer than we think. They just Maybe they got to make a, a quarterback move. There's J.J. Watt at a 299 for the Texans. And is that Tariq Cohen? It is. Autograph. Nice. For the Bears. The Bears. Michael G. with the Bears. Happy New Year. Michael, there you go. The speedy Tariq Cohen. 78 out of 99. We got Jordan Willis out of 199 for the Bengals. Marvin Lewis somehow retaining his job. In Cincinnati, how's he doing that? What he what does he have on those owners? You have to wonder now. Can't imagine too many Bengals fans are very happy with with that. Fifteen out of ninety nine, Lashawn McCoy. Is he going to be healthy for this week? That's for Tim H. Odell Beckham Jr. Seventy out of ninety nine, the ODB. That was kind of. I mean, look at all the injuries the Giants had too. That goes to David Kist. Matt Stafford, out of 149. That's for the Lions. That'll go to Jaden. Ed saying that they'll draft a franchise quarterback, then you'll be in football. Well, that would be pretty good, actually. That's good for the hobby. There's Golden Tate for the Lions as well. 37 out of 50. All right. Uh, you just got a couple, uh, just a couple um, parallels, Jaden. You got, um, you got a Golden Tate and a Matt Stafford. A couple parallels. No ink yet. 
Well, is that what the is, is that what you think the Cardinals are going to do, Ed? Are they going to uh, are they going to draft a franchise quarterback? I guess they eventually will, but I mean, or do you think uh, or do you think that the Cardinals will make a will trade will make a deal for a veteran quarterback? You know, Kirk Cousins maybe. Kirk Cousins could be an interesting choice. I think a lot of people will be looking to see where he goes in the offseason. Andy Dalton to the Cardinals? Ask asking Roy? Uh, is that are they real Cardinals? Bengals wouldn't let go of Andy Dalton, would they? Marvin Lewis would be. Then I would really think there's a conspiracy. If Marvin Lewis can get a two year extension and get rid of Andy Dalton. Who else, would, who else would they play? I don't know. Maybe I mean maybe it's it's just kind of surprising. I, I I think with I'm sure a lot of Cincinnati Bengals fans are surprised too. Two year extension for him. Um, I mean I'm all for coaching consistency. I don't like coaching carousels. I don't like head coaches being rotated out every year or two. You know I just don't I don't like that. You want to at least give a coach a shot, establish some you know foundation, some consistency. I know Marvin Lewis is, you know, has done, I guess, relatively well overall. But recent results, maybe you just maybe you just need a change of pace, just a just a fresh face. All right, next up. Our Darius Stewart Green, that's five out of five. Karen Steele with the Jets, Jets, Jets. And our first train whistle of the day. I like when the parallel matches the color of the team. Karen, five out of five, all aboard the Big Hit Express. Woo woo! And a happy new year to you, too. Nice. And Jeremy McNichols, rated rookie, on-card autograph. Not flipped around. That almost fooled me for a second. Buccaneers, that goes to Ehrlich. 41 out of 75. Is this another hot box, perhaps? Feed the Crow, Isaiah Crowell for the Browns out of 299. We've got Jeremy Sprinkle. Hopefully he opens up a cupcake shop or something like a pastry shop or something. Michael Gallucci with the Redskins. That's what I'm hoping anyway. Maybe he could get together with Taco Charlton. Get into the restaurant industry. Trent Taylor for the Niners. That goes to James S. 25 out of 25. Nice little, or sorry, 30, 35. There you go, James. There's Isaiah Ford for the, for Jaden and the Dolphins. There you go, Jaden. That's your first autograph of the break. Not numbered, but there you go. Hit is a hit. Is that numbered, Gridiron King? No, that one's not. This is numbered. Carolina Panthers, Cam Newton, 26 out of 99. Superman. That goes to Sam Golden and the Panthers. That one is not. No, I, lo I love that AKA insert set, too. Gridiron Kings, poor Dalvin Cook, 33 out of 99. Vikings, that'll go to Derek P. There's Matty Ice, Matt Ryan. 53 out of 99 for the Falcons. That'll go to Derek P. And the last bit here. There's Dangerous, Russell Wilson for Tice. 103 out of 149. That's just 100 off his jersey number. <laughs> OB, Melifonwu with uh, my Raiders out of 299. And that'll go to... 
Uh, Daniel Patera with my Raiders. All right, next box. Good luck, everybody. Our first break of the day. Kind of about halfway through the case, about another half an hour or so to go in this break. We've got another fresh case of optic football on jazpieshobbyland.com with a chance to win a transcendent baseball spot. If you buy at least two teams, you'll get one entry, one entry max per person per break. Check out all the details on jazpieshobbyland.com. We want to try to knock out uh, at least one of those transcendent baseball cases some point this week. Some point this week. Now, uh, Jaden was asking earlier, about five minutes ago, how far do you, down do you think Baker is going to go in the draft because of his, quote, attitude? How far did, uh, you know, how far do guys go down for their attitude? I don't think very much. <laughs> How far did Johnny Manziel go down in the draft because of his attitude? I mean, if Baker Mayfield does well in the combine, if he does well in the interviews, and, and if a team really wants him, you know, I don't think his attitude is really going to bring anything down. Oh, you think teams may have learned their lesson after Johnny Manziel? I don't believe that. I don't think teams do learn their lesson. You've got you've got teams and coaches that make the same mistake year after year. I think when when draft time comes around, there there's hype, and then people people get people get hyped up and they fall in love with a player, and a, a player gets hyped up, and it happens every year. Everyone sees like the what they did, what so and so did in this one bowl game, but then forget about all the missteps for the entire you know for the season you know over across the college football season. I think it just happens all the time. These illusions cards will be randomized left and right. By the way, those regular ones, the ones that are serial numbered, will be randomized separately. One nineteen out of one ninety nine. John Ross for the Bengals. It's from Michael G. There's Cam Newton for the Panthers. Sam Golden. Two out of ninety nine. Rumor has it, says Brian Sayers, that Jags may pursue Kirk Cousins unless the Giants, uh, what, re oh, release Eli. Well, who, yeah, who, who, what is your source? Did you just make that up? Out of 149, Corey Davis. Did you, like, something you read on Twitter? So this will be randomized separately. 70 out of 99, Saints and Eagles randomizer. There's Zay Jones. Nice autograph from Zay Jones. Fifty-four out of one fifty. Zay Jones. Uh, that's Tim H with the Bills. There you go, Tim. Ah, just talk around town, says Brian Sayers. Nothing official. Just his talk. Our talk radio, etc. So talk radio speculation. Jeremy McNichols, one thirty-six out of two ninety-nine for the Buccaneers. Yeah, there you go, Tim. It's your Zay Jones. Tyreek Hill. You're welcome, Tim. Happy New Year to you, man. 32 out of 149, the speedy Tyreek Hill. Might be a difference maker in the playoffs. Chris Godwin, is that out of 10? It is. Three, nine out of 10. Can't read. Nine out of 10, Chris Godwin. That's for Ehrlich and the Buccaneers. And that is that. All right.
right, next box. Good luck, everybody. Yeah, there's just not, Jan. Just I'm like an NFL ref. All right, good luck, everyone. This is Figure Team 9 from jazbeeshobbyland.com. Figure Team 10 is in the store right now, so if you want to get a head start, if you missed out on your team pretty much in this break, you're like, dang, that team that I'm always looking for always gets uh, always gets sold. Always someone buys it really quickly. Well, if you see it now, go for it. jazbeeshobbyland.com. Make it happen. So Figure Team 10 is in the store. Remember, if you buy at least two teams... If you buy at least two teams, then you will get uh, one entry into our Transcendent Baseball promo. So 16 entries max. If you buy more than two teams, you'll be able to block other people from adding to that entry list, thus increasing your odds. So hit that up on jazbeeshobbyland.com. Jane's got a big question for everybody. NFL MVP. Most valuable player. Um... What about Deshaun Watson? No, he's not going to win. But look, look what happened to the... Who is more valuable to his team than Deshaun Watson? Look what happened to the Texans. No, but uh, Kareem Hunt. Yeah, Royal for Speed saying Kareem Hunt. That's a possibility. Although he's he may be more in line for off Offensive Rookie of the Year. What's up, Arthur? What's going on, man? Tim H. says, I know it won't happen, but I think Case Keenum's got his MVP. Yeah, that's actually true. You know, yeah, I don't think he's going to get it, but he's definitely got to be in the conversation. There is our Darius Stewart. Wow. So, Karen, you have the 5 out of 5 rated rookie our Darius Stewart. Now you have a gold our Darius Stewart autograph. 8 out of 10. Nice one. Nice break for you, Karen. And there's Joe Flacco for the Ravens. Uh, that's for Tim H. out of 149. And there it is. Buda Baker uh, printing his name. I think he got the wrong... He, got, he may have gotten the wrong instructions. That's for the Cardinals, James. James S. with that one. 55 out of 75. Bruyo saying Hunt had that had that uh, bad stretch down the season. Jaden said, "I know it's annoying, but he's got to go with Brady." I don't know about Brady. I mean, he's got a good season for sure. Maybe Gurley. I'd like to see Gurley. I think he's had a great season. Josh Schmidt, what's going on? Illusions, 108 out of 149, Christian McCaffrey and his dad. Tyreek Hill, out of 299 for the Chiefs. If the season was five games long, Brian Sayers, then yes, maybe Garoppolo, <laughs> maybe Garoppolo would be... Uh, would be a candidate for MVP. Obi Melon Fonvu for my Raiders. Raiders autograph going to Daniel Patera. That's another hot box, of course. Which may mean that there's Gary Ann Conley for my Raiders at 299. Which may mean that uh, we may not see a case hit. 188 out of 199. Terrell Suggs for the Ravens and Lamar Miller. I don't know why he was flipped around. But there's a green T.Y. Hilton. Nice. Colts. Karen Steele with another train whistle. What? Two out of five on that T.Y. Hilton. There you go, Karen. Hey, once again, all aboard the Big Hit Express. Woo woo. Nice.
There's Jeremy McNichols, rated rookie, 78 out of 149 for Ehrlich and the Buccaneers. And another autograph, Isaiah Ford, second to last card of the of this box. And that's another autograph for Jaden and the Dolphins. Rolling for speed, saying, hey, uh, well, he's a Chiefs fan, everyone. Remember that. The team had a, had a bad stretch, but he still had the rushing record the, for this season. So why not Kareem Hunt? See, I just don't, I don't know if the... I guess I don't remember previous years. How often do rookies actually get the MVP? You know, I mean, they may win their offensive like player of the rookie of the year award and that kind of stuff, but to actually win like the Associated Press, um, the Associated Press uh, MVP, most valuable player. I don't know if that I don't know if that happens very often. Comeback player of the year, Boston Graphs, Sean is saying. He says Bortles. That's not a bad one. Goff is a good one, too. Todd Gurley might be a good one. Arthur saying Demarcus Lawrence. Yeah, but when I when I think of comeback player of the year, I think about that. I'm trying to think of guys that like, you know, were, had like a had some sort of like catastrophic injury or something like that, you know, and then like and then came back. So I mean, I guess Gurley could get it, but then uh, then I'm thinking, well, you know, he just oh, yeah, he wasn't horrible last season. And it's not like he had any sort of like adversity that uh, you know in, in in that sort of sense. Goff was just a rookie last year, so that doesn't. I don't know if that really counts. You know, so maybe he's not a he's not technically a comeback player. Bortles maybe, actually. I mean, pe people have left Bortles for for dead, right? Josh McCowan, ninety two out of ninety nine. It's for Karen and the Jets. <laughs> Excuse me. Sean Lee saying Rick, Rick Hunt. Mike Wallace for the Ravens. That'll be for Tim H. Out of 299. Aaron Rodgers at a 99 for the Packers. That'll be for Dubberly. And wow. One of one. Ryan Switzer. Woo. Wow. I didn't think we are going to see a case hit because we saw those few hot boxes. But there it is. Ryan, the speedy Ryan Switzer, Nike swoosh, black ink autograph, and a one of one. That is strong. That goes to the Cowboys. That is Bulldog fan, Will Comstock. Happy New Year, Will. And all aboard the Big Hit Express. Woo woo! Will's been breaking us with us for a while. I've seen a few New Year's with us. There you go, Will. Thank you. Our Joshua Dobbs out of 149. 
Yeah, I, and I, I like Switzer too. I feel like he's could be a pretty pretty dynamic playmaker. He has been many times. I think he could keep evolving into that role. Our Joshua Dobbs again, this time out of fifty. There's Tom Terrific, three out of ninety nine. Midori Jackson. That's a good goal, Sean. Boston Graf saying, my New Year's goal resolution is to be on the Big Hit Express. Technically, you guys are already on the Big Hit Express. It's really just a matter of, can you come up to the front of the train and pull that whistle? 76 out of 99, the privilege to pull the whistle. James with that one. Wow. What a hit. Nice. But yeah, that's a, that's a good goal to have, Sean. It's a good goal to have. I think that, that should be everyone's goal. My goal is to try to get everyone up to the front of the train so they can pull that whistle. So if we if we both work together, I think we can make we can make it happen at some point this year. Just keep getting your at bats in, ladies and gentlemen. If you keep getting your ABs in, the chances for uh, for you to get a hit a lot better. Can't just take one, can't just make one plate appearance and then be like, oh, I didn't get a, I, I didn't get a hit. Done. No, no, can't do that. Got to get your ABs in. Paul T saying, uh, Case Keenum for comeback player. That's actually that actually makes a little more sense. I kind of like that. Yeah, I think Jaden, the, the the scariest moment of the NFL this season would have to be. Yeah, Ryan Chazier. Josh Schmidt, this was a pick your team break. So all the teams were different prices. We've got another case available on jazbeeshobbyland.com that you can check out. I think, I think some people are buying teams already, but you can kind of get an idea of what the, uh, what the prices are. Um, any bucks yet? Well, the way you spelled it, Ehrlich, no, no Milwaukee Bucks as of yet. You have to watch the video. Now, yeah, I think you got a Jeremy I mean, Nichols autograph a little bit earlier. And then maybe, I think, an out of 10 Chris Godwin. Something like that, but no ink on that one. We still have three more boxes to go. This one and then two more. All right. Good luck, everyone. Third to last box. There's Des Bryant, 57 out of 99. Juju Smith-Schuster not numbered. It'll ship, though. You know what? The, the Latavius Murray, seeing Latavius Murray reminded me of something. Did you realize how um, how well the Vikings have been playing without Dalvin Cook? Uh, once Dalvin Cook went down and poor Dalvin Cook, everyone's just like, well, uh, I guess that's kind of it. There goes the running game. Uh, the Vikings just kept winning. Jarvis Landry, 168 out of 299. Philip Rivers, 57 out of 99 for the Los Angeles Chargers, just narrowly missing out of the playoffs. There's Brian Hill for the Dirty Birds for Derek, 13 out of 50. There's Samaj Pirine for Michael Gallucci. That is 15 out of 149. Adam Shaheen for the Bears, 25 out of 99. And your autograph out in here is CJ Bethard. Rated rookie on card autograph for the Niners, James S. with that one. Deshaun Kaiser for the Browns. 85 out of 149. 
rough season for the Browns. I think the Browns will. Do you think the Browns will get a quarterback in the draft? Are they going to go quarterback again with their with a with a one of their first round picks? Or are they going to give uh, give Deshaun Kaiser another go? That'll be interesting to see. Yes, we do ship the rated rookies. Only vet base doesn't ship early. If you read the item description, all the all the information is there. The next case is up on the website, ladies and gentlemen. Jazbeeshobbyland.com. Check it out. So if you missed out on your optic football and you're like, oh man, can we do some more, Joe? Yes, we can. If you go to jazbeeshobbyland.com, break number 10 is in the store right now. So be sure to check that out. Uh, if you're watching this replay days later, then that 10 might be gone. But keep checking back on jazbeeshobbyland.com. There's plenty of football, baseball, basketball, even some hockey and soccer. All of that is on jazbeeshobbyland.com. Every roll for speed saying every season is a rough season for the Browns. Coach of the year, Tim H. is asking. It's got to be Sean McVay, right, for the Rams? I mean, I, th that is a, kind of a shocking turnaround. Rookie coach and just turning it around that much. And not even just, you know, you know, maybe not even just in the win column, but like just changing that entire offense around, just getting the most out of that offense, just completely changing that offense and making it look like a dynamic one. You know, high scoring offense. It's pretty crazy. Brian Sayer says the Cincy coach for keeping his job. Yeah, I don't know what kind of blackmail he has on the owners, but Ty saying he's a Seahawks guy. Ty saying not Pete Carroll. Is the Pete Carroll era kind of is that window closing? Tice? maybe they need a fresh face there. I think Car Pete Carroll. I think might be one of the oldest uh, coaches in the league too. There's Brian Hill again, ninety three out of ninety nine. That goes to the Falcons, Derek P. And look at this, four out of five, Aaron Rodgers. Gridiron Kings insert, doubly with the Packers. It's a nice looking one. Again, I, I love it when the parallel matches the color of the team. Nice Aaron Rodgers, out of five, Packers, doubly, all aboard the Big Hit Express. Woo woo! It looks like there's an autograph down here too, and it's going to be... Rated rookie auto, Davis Webb for the New York Football Giants. David Kist with the Davis Webb at 68 out of 75. I wonder if he's, he's he going to get a chance. Not sure what they're going to do with uh, Eli Manning. It seems to be up in the air. A.J. Green, 130 out of 199. Is Rogers going to retire? Is that what you said, Brian Sayers? Is that really is that really a a thing? I find that hard to believe. I mean, he will eventually retire. <laughs> or did you mean Rothsberger? That's a better question. <laughs> 248 out of 299. I mean, everyone's eventually going to retire. Bucky Hodges, 35 out of 50 for the Vikings, Derek P. We got Ezekiel Elliott out of 149 for Will, Bulldog fan. And the boys. Illusions, Deshaun Watson, Cam Newton, 117 out of 149. That'll be one of the randomizers. I guess except Brady, who's probably a cyborg.
If your local talk radio, Brian, in Jacksonville, Florida, is saying, if they're speculating that Aaron Rodgers is going to retire, uh, uh, I'd, I'd, I'd question I'd question that heavily. <laughs> But Roethlisberger might. More, more recently, certainly more recent, more, much, much earlier than Aaron Rodgers, I think. All right, last box. Good luck, everybody. Last autograph. This is a pretty, uh, pretty solid case actually. Nice case hit, solid autographs, nice parallels, some train, a lot of train whistles. So that was pretty good. We've got, like, I, like I've been saying, there's another case in the store. Uh, jazbeeshobbyland.com fresh case oh there you are. Brian are, Brian Terry are you are you bringing hot takes from shock jocks into this room we don't have time for that yeah Sean's asking, how many years does Tom Brady have? Well, he, I'm, I'm convinced that he's a cyborg now. His, his TB12 diet, I'm sure, are nanobots. They're nanobots that, that eat dead cells and regenerate old cells. There you go. And now he's now he's slowly turning a cyborg from inside out. I, be, I believe that. That's I'm convinced that's what it is. See? Look at that. Look at that. Like, dude, look at his face. Look how look how young and fresh faced Tom Brady looks. That's not the face of a forty year old. That that is that is the face of a man who who is who is ingesting TB twelve nanobots on a daily basis to keep him uh, to keep him young. Right, those avocados. Now I'm a fan of the avocados as well, but I'm telling you, they're nanobots. It's some some sort of enzyme in there. That's just. That's how he's doing. He's slowly turning more man, or more more machine than man. He's more machine than man now. All right, last box. Good luck, everybody. Von Miller. 003 out of 199. Oppo Joe Mojo. Broncos with that one. Dubberly. Dak Prescott. Nice one for Will. 62 out of 99. He went to the college that Dak Prescott went to. He's a Mississippi State Bulldog. Bulldog fan is. Not a Georgia. Uh, Taiwan Taylor, I believe, is your last autograph. Unless this is a hot box, it's your last autograph. There you go. Titans. Rick Hunt. At the whistle. Rated rookie autograph, Taiwan Taylor. 67 out of 75. One of the nicest autographs in the hobby. What I respect about Taiwan Taylor is that um, is that even as the season goes on, you know, like his autograph still stays the same. Like he's he's got consistency there. You know, you see, uh, <laughs> Kenny Galladay has kind of kind of started mailing in some of his autographs. He's just like, eh, just KG, I think is fine. <laughs> and Taiwan Taylor's been pretty uh, relatively consistent throughout the season. One fourteen out of two ninety nine, Shelton Gibson for the Fly Eagles. Fly. There's Mike Williams out of one forty nine. Chargers could be pretty exciting next season. There's Deshaun Watson. Joe Hauer, 41 out of 99, saw his redemption autograph earlier. That was a nice one, Joe. We got James Conner, black, 21 out of 25. There you go, Rick. Rick was playing to the whistle. That's how you're supposed to do it, folks. Play to the whistle. 21 out of 25. For the Steelers, that is for Michael Gallucci. Got to play to the whistle, folks. I've seen too many times where people with like four boxes left are like, ah, oh, skunked again. Only to be embarrassed when like a nice autograph gets pulled from them in one of the last four boxes. Got to play to the whistle, folks. Even, even up until the last box, that all, you never know. Miles Garrett, 51 out of 99. 
And looks like that is that, folks. Thank you very much. That was pick your team number nine. Got some randomizers to do. So let me get all of that set up. Give me a second here. So we've got the left right on this illusion card, just for the basic ones. And then we've got these ones here and winner take all on the points. Look at this nice hit, remember that? Never forget, what a great hit. All right, so let's get these randomizers set up. Yeah, hey Tim, I love this optic too. Someone was saying earlier that optic, I think it was Tice maybe, Tice was saying optic is already down to 23. 23 teams left. We could run this back, give away more transcendent baseball spots. <laughs> we'll keep doing them until transcendent is filled up one optic at a time. So that's one, two, three, four, five. I need five lists. One, two, three, four, five. Plus the transcendent giveaway. All right, so let's go to random.org. Left, right. Um, the Illusions card, first one was Deshaun Watson, Texans, Cam Newton, Panthers. Next one was the McCaffreys, Panthers edition, and then his dad, Broncos edition. Not born, born Coes, Bronco, Broncos, there you go, I can spell. And the next one is Illusions, Camara, Saints, and Sproles, Eagles. All right, winner take all on the 150 points. And you needed to buy at least two teams to get an entry into our Transcendent Baseball giveaway. So Chris bought at least two. So did Daniel Patera. Derek P bought three. He probably blocked someone from getting in. James S, Jaden, Karen bought a few. Michael G, both Michael Gs, Ryan, Sam, Tim H. There you go. So out of 16 potential spots, only 11. That's pretty good odds for you in this break. All right, we'll use the same dice roll for all the lists. Good luck, everybody. We'll go six and a two, eight times for each list. Left, right, first. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eighth and final time. Left side on top. So for all the regular left-right uh, cards, illusions cards, they'll all go to the left side. So that there's the same one, except that one is numbered. So that's Texans Panthers. Texans Panthers, eight times, six and a two. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Flips to the Texans. So Joe Hauer with Deshaun Watson and Cam Newton, 117 out of 149. Nice. Next one are the McCaffreys, Christian and Ed. Once again, six and a two, eight times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Goes with the Broncos, Oppo Joe Mojo for Dubberly. So you get the Illusions. That's 108 out of 149. This one's a little bit lower numbered right here. 70 out of 99, Camara and Sproles. Saints Eagles, eight times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. That goes to the Saints. That'll be for Royal Four Speed. Ryan, a little consolation prize here at the end. Another little consolation, eight times for the entire list right here. One, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, and eight. Name on top. We got Tim H. Tim H. 150 points coming your way. There you are. And last but not least, the transcendent baseball spot. So if you once again, jazbeeshobbyland.com. If you buy at least two teams, you get one entry, one entry max per person per break, into a drawing right here to try to get one transcendent baseball spot. That's a $155 value on jazbeeshobbyland.com. Six and a two, eight times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eighth and final time. Name on top is Ryan. Look at that, Royal Four Speed. 
There you go. That's a $155 value. That's Transcendent Baseball. That's currently available right now on jazbeeshobbyland.com. We want to do, uh, we want to do a case this week. So go there, check it out, buy some spots. Let's get some momentum going on it. Thanks, everybody. We'll see you next time on jazbeeshobbyland.com. Happy New Year.